Uh, okay. Here we are, back again. And, and this time, this video won't have as much dialogue as the last one. Who are you with the very pointy chest? <laughs> I am Impa of the Sheikas. I am responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. Everything is exactly as the princess foretold. Did you just, like, overhear everything? She's a ninja. Of course she overheard it. You are a courageous boy. You are heading out on a big new adventure, aren't you? Uh, unfortunately, yes. My role in the princess's dream was to teach a melody to the one from the forest. This is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I have played this song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. There's some serious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. Yeah, I think that's... There's that, and then there's a little bit more dialogue, so it'll be over soon. Wow, so apparently it's... That's how you play music. C left, C, yep, C right. <laughs> do you know how music has to do with A, D's, and E's, and all that? No, it's just C. And there's just some A's in there. Yeah, there's A's too. That's right. There are A's. I wish instruments actually sparkled like that when you played them. Yeah, when you actually successfully played something. You, you learned, learned Zelda's lullaby. Oh my, oh my lord. Oh my god. If the castle soldiers find you, there will be trouble. Let me lead you out of the castle. There'll be trouble. Where's okay, uh, that's cool. One more of them throw bombs at me. He's oh my god. How did we get out here like this? It's like we... What did you do? You brave lad. We must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. Uh, yeah, yeah. Take a good look at that mountain. I don't want it. This is... That is Death Mountain. Home of the Gorons. They hold the spiritual stone of fire. Oh, fire. I gotta go catch on fire to get this next stone. Foot of Death Mountain, you will find my village. Kakariko, that is where I was born and raised. You should talk to some of the villagers there before you go up Death Mountain. Ah, uh, fine. The song I just taught you has... Uh, some mysterious power. Only royal family members are allowed to learn this song. Remember, it will help to improve your connection with the royal family. The princess is waiting for you to return to the castle with the stones. Alright, we're counting on you. You. <laughs> Don't you wish you could do this? <laughs> it wasn't even like a big flash. It, it's just it like she exploded. It actually looked like she just threw like a really quick grenade on the ground and blew herself up. <laughs> and it was it was like a silence grenade. God, that's funny. Alright. Uh, luckily this isn't a very long walk, otherwise we just cut straight to. So yes, next you will have to go to Kakariko Village. And I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Kakariko. If it's not, well, oh well. Kaka. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what else you can pronounce it. Kakariko. Kakariko, I guess. Kakariko. 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 All right, the guard just says, you know, here we are, Kakariko Village. All right, so the first thing to automatically do when you first come in here, pick up a chicken. Pick up a chicken. Everyone loves picking up chickens. Everyone likes to, yeah, exactly, Kevin. Everyone likes to pick up chickens. And what do you do with this chicken? Well, you simply just bring it over to a right, go up a little bit of stairs, put it to the left, and imprison it for the rest of its life. And, Throw it in the slaughterhouse. And we do this for a few other uh, chickens. A few other uh, chickens. Uh, chickens, whatever those things are called. And there are some some that uh, you might be standing there saying, how the heck do I, do I get it? Well, there's one over here, so we'll just throw him over the fence. This is not animal cruelty. <laughs> do not report us. And the, animal is, the animals will get you back. Yeah. If you hit them with your sword, yes. Whatever you do, don't hit a chicken with your sword. As fun as it may look, you just don't. They will gain vengeance upon you. They will rain down with a fiery, like, kick ass upon Pistol you. Pistol pain. Pistol pain. <laughs> upon you. It's been proven. Just look it up. Here on YouTube, look it up. Alrighty. And then with this one, we do something that's really awesome. We just hover dun, down dun. the cage. Woo and then hit a wall. Ah. 
and throw that chicken into that wooden pole. <laughs> chicken! Alright, so, and then we pick up this chicken. Chicken. And just chuck him right in there. Alright, so where's that other one? I don't know, you probably threw him out down the well by accident. No, he's right here. <laughs> chicken down a well. Chicken down a That would suck. I've never seen that. I don't I don't know if that's possible, but that would suck. You try it. <laughs> no. Not now at least. Maybe later. Maybe. Remember this video. Alright, so let's see. I'm gonna need Oh yeah, there's also a chicken in the box. <laughs> Why? I don't know. <laughs> Who put this chicken in there? Someone made a big mistake when packing some stuff for mass production. I don't know. I love this guy who just like these workers are so funny. They, <laughs> they literally just run around in circles. And it's also the way they run that looks funny. There's like, uh, 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 uh. Swedish chef. Alright, now we got this chicken. Just hover down to get that one. And uh, let's go get the one that I threw. Sweet, sweet chicken. Where are you? There you are. Coming for you. Alright. And after this, it's one more chicken. One more chicken. Oh. I wonder what Link is thinking when he picks up these chickens. I mean, does he even know how to pick up a chicken? Is there a special way to pick up a chicken? Well, I, I would advise that you pick it up by its legs if you're doing it the way he's doing it. I think. Well, maybe it's... It's like thighs or something. Well, I would advise um, to not pick up a chicken and jump off a cliff with it. Because yeah. I don't think you'll actually fly. You probably won't hover. But we could be right. So don't do it. Alright, so we throw him in there. And then, yay, and then talk to this nice lady over here. Thank you for finding my cuckoos, cuckoos. I think it's cuckoos. I don't know. I have allergies, so I get goosebumps when I touch them. So why are you a chicken farmer? Yeah, no kidding. For helping me, I will give this to you. It's fine glass and should be used, used, useful. God, please take good care of it. All right, and we get our first empty bottle. That's a really shiny bottle. I wish I had it's it. It's like diamond. <laughs> it's like a diamond bottle. Never looked at it that way. The before. diamond vial of Mrs. Dash. <laughs> 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 oh, that'd be so great. All right, so and then let's head to the to one of the cool places. Well, I should say out of a cool as in dead. As in graveyard. not warm. <laughs> All right. If you beat me in a race, I'll yeah. give you some special. I like how we're looking at the back of this tombstone. Rest in peace. Here lies the souls of those who were who swore fealty to the royal family title. The Sheikah guardians, the royal family, and founders of the Kakariko watch over these spirits in their eternal slumber. Yes, Sheikahs play an important part in the royal family. Okay, so... This was a weird little kid. This kid, he basically tells you not to move these tombstones, because there's one in particular that we can move. Most likely, the one with the flowers. And that's kind of like an old Nintendo-type thing, you know? Yeah, good old hint. Make, make it to show up good. But we're at... But we're going to stop right here, because the next part is pretty cool. And since we're getting low on time, we're going to wait for the next video. So I think we'll see you guys, obviously, in the next video. So, just hang in there. Spooky rain. Spooky rain. With insane lightning. All right. We'll see you next time. All right. Bye. So long. See you next time. Yay!